In this video, I'm going to look at the um, Microsoft Query Wizard, and we're going to use the Query Wizard to query a database to import some of the information in the database into our Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to start out by going to the Data tab and I'm going to choose in the Get External Data Group um, from other sources and then Microsoft Query and here is the dialog box. I'm going to query an access database. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and then click OK. So then a new dialog box opens up and this is the select database dialog box. So right here you would navigate to the um, folder or drive where you have your um, Tutorial 11 files stored. And there's the database right there, the Horizons ACCDB. And I'm going to click on that and click OK. So when the wizard opens up over here, it shows me the tables that are stored in the database. So if you think back to Tutorial 5 where you did Excel tables and pivot tables and so forth, this is somewhat similar to what happens in an Access database. Some of you may have taken Access either as the freestanding class or as part of 150 and you know that when you create a database it's a holding place for tables of information. And those tables are made up of records. And records are all the information about one individual thing. For example, if we were talking about um, students, it would be all of the relevant information for each student, like a student ID number, their name, their address, their major, whatever kind of information you want stored in that table. So within each record, the records are composed of fields, and the fields are the smallest individual pieces of information that you need for that record. For example, first name, last name, street address, city, state, and zip. So that's just kind of a really quick overview of a database. And what we're going to do here is we're going to um, click on the Expand button so that I can see what, feel, or what fields are in my database. And so I can see all of the fields here for the company database. And I'm going to go ahead and select the fields that I want to include in my query. And a query is just a way of pulling information out of the database that I need without having to um, use all of it. I'm sifting through it or mining it. So I'm going to start out with the ticker symbol field and then I'm going to add the company field and I can either click on the field name and then click the arrow to send it over or I can double click. And finally I'm going to choose portfolio percent and then I'm going to go on to this long-term performance table and expand it. And I want to include the year high and the year low. So then I'm done with this particular part of the wizard and I can click Next. So one of the things that you can do with a query is to filter the data so that you only get the specific information that you want. And as an example, 
I can um, add the company to the filter and I could perhaps filter for only Eastman Kodak. Or I could filter for um, Toyota as well. So I've chosen OR as the connector here, which means that my query will pull out companies that will pull out either Eastman Kodak or Toyota, the records that pertain to that. But if I use AND, the record has to pertain to both in order to be pulled out of the um, database. And in this particular one, I don't think that would work. So that's how I would add a filter, and actually for this particular query I do not want to filter it. So to remove the filter, I'm going to click on the down arrow here, and then there's a blank space at the very top of the list. And I'm going to click on that to remove the equals. I'm going to do the same thing to the first, to the Eastman Kodak filter and the filters are now gone. The other thing that a query allows you to do is sort. And you sort on certain fields of your choice. And for this particular query I want to sort on portfolio percent from smallest to largest, or largest to smallest rather. So I'm going to choose descending order then I'm going to click Next. And one of the things that you can do is save your query. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Query. And I have saved this query once before when I ran through it before recording the video. So down here where it says File Name, you would type in your file name for the query, which happens to be Horizons Portfolio. Then up here, you need to make sure that you are navigating to the folder or the device where you have your query saved before you click on the Save button. And I really strongly recommend that you place it in the same folder with your other Tutorial 11 items. And mine is going to say it already exists because it does. If you are saving for the first time, it will not do this. Okay, so now that I've saved it, I want to make sure that Return Data to Microsoft Excel is there. And clicked, and I'm going to click Finish. And it's defaulting to bringing it, the information in in a table, and I'm going to put the table in the upper right hand corner in A3, and then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to click OK, and there's my table with the information that I pulled from the company table and the um, other table in the Horizons database. So the table can be formatted just as you would format any other um, Excel table. You can change the number formats, you could change the table format. So it is now um, presented to you as an Excel table. And that is how you use Microsoft Query to um, import information into an Excel spreadsheet.